Team Empire versus Team Secret. RTZ may be at the risk of losing his item and the courier. Bottom lane, a bit of aggression from Secret, though, as they're eyeing up King Arm, bringing him low with the rocket barrage. King Arm will be able to hit the distance and all. Let's have a look at mid lane. Oh, Secret's courier. They could be the first to die this game. Meposhka won, give it a second, and that is the courier down. Meposhka getting away with that one. Into their pockets, and uh, MVs, of course, could be very happy with this start. And it'll be interesting to see just how active of a gyrocopter he plays. Mid lane, RTZ in trouble. He's going to get Dragon Tail stunned out. He's in the cloud, and one more touch, and that's your first blood. Meposhka. Dash towards the mid lane. Both mid laners are going to head down towards the bottom room. See if anything kicks off their bottom lane still. Ramsey's he's feeling a bit more uh, safe now. He has got King R around, and in fact, they're going to go for some action. A beautiful glimpse, bringing Envy back under the tower. The TP's going through Afterlife with a burst strike onto two. Envy, he's falling low, and he's gone. They've found themselves one kill. Can they get themselves anything else? Ramsey's and Miposhka chasing down Puppy with the open wounds. They should be able to get this one. Puppy just grazes himself, tries to turn. RTZ is coming in with a rotation. Can Secret do anything about this action? It doesn't look like they can. They've lost a second hero, Secret, an empire. Just playing very nicely. Empire is now beginning to converge in up towards this area of the jungle, so we may see something kick off. A bit of a wrap around from the DK. He does have a DD available. And then Poshka just keeping eyes on to Puppy. Here he comes. Scandal DD in the bottle, ready to go out of Dragon Form, and here we have it. A couple of hits and a strike. Puppy's down. Give themselves a fourth one on the board now. Empire and Secret. They don't seem to have an answer for this one. So Secret, they've got to be very. Very aware of the, the movements of Empire. And Empire smoking up, moving into the jungle. They found out Envy and Envy immediately getting caught out. They'll lay down the Static Storm as well. And Empire, they'll find one of the Can they find anything else? Secret turning around the Ravage. Coming out, so only going to connect onto two, but it will kill King R. Can they get Scandal as well? A nice heal bomb coming out from Puppy. But the chase is not going to be both available because Afterlife coming in with the epicenter. The Burrow Strike as well. Universe will pop the mechanism. Afterlife incredibly low. The heal bomb again. Afterlife, can he get himself out of it with the stick charges? He may just survive. Wave of Terror is not going to be enough. Secret eyes into Meposhka. Have they got the detective of the man if the Invis kicks back in? They've laid down a sentry. Meposhka right on the edge. He's actually come back under it. Let me see if he realizes that he's uh, out of vision, and I think he will. No, oh, again the sentry. Oh, jumps down Meposhka with the plays, just avoiding secret. That was that was the call for Empire. If he had stayed a little bit longer, Empire would have kind of been forced to hang around, keep him alive. But he did a good job. He knows that he's under farm. He just needs some more time to catch back. I mean, more importantly, he needs to not die. One lane. Comes into Ramsey's universe is coming as well. Gonna try for this one, but Ramsey's got the back of the King Art. The kinetic field getting laid down. And Ramsey he just rages and starts to chomp away. Every every choice for the CP is not going to be successful. And another death here for the gyrocopter. RTZ's coming. Let me see if uh, he can get a bit of a cleanup job done, but he's not going to be able to chase. And again, they're losing MP like this, and uh, Secret unable to find anything in return that time. Secret, you ready to form some kind of a defense? Universe will have the Ravage back in five. MV and Pi in the sidelines. See if they want to make a go. Eyes onto Scanner, they're leading with the Spirit Line from RTG, and there's the follow up stun. MV moving for the cool now, but again, the Static Storm's laid out. Ravage will come through, they should be able to get Scanner, they will. They'll also take down the disrupt on the sidelines. Ramsey's raging up, trying to get himself out, but Arthur goes straight in with the upset. It wasn't enough damage, a secret! They'll punish Empire's aggression this time to take out a fourth, and that was the exact fight that Secret needed to bring themselves back into a game where they were struggling early on in these early kind of rotations that Empire were catching them off guard with every time. That was fantastic positioning by Universe, skirting outside the kinetic field and the static storm, and anyone that helped DK was going to die. He also managed to catch Lifestealer before he raged. Yes, they might find RTZ in the jungle on his own. Empire closing in on the PL. We can punish this one, and indeed they can jump in. No messing around with the epicenter tricks of the trade as well. Jump onto the Sankey. This is what the players are. Universe jumps in. He's with the Gersh, holding up the Ravage for the time being. Feels that he's not going to need it in Afterlife. One more strike to escape. The homing missile is already onto him. Get the blink off in Afterlife. Looks like he'll be able to avoid that one. So, in the Universe. And the boys, they've got to head back. Because look at the top lane. There's a bit of a heavy push coming in. And Puppy, he's actually going to be the first to, to tank this. And now Universe into the cloud. He's got to be careful. Scandal pops the BKB in Universe. He'll hold onto the Ravage, of course, for this time being. But. Empire doing a significant amount of damage to the tier 3 in secret. Coming in with a RTZ as well. Let's see what they can do to punish this one. They'll move in onto King Eyes. Gonna go for the TP out. He's not gonna make it. Secret will be able to kill the Disruptor. Scandal with a stun onto MV. Osha just dropping down the cloud. And it looks like Empire just want to get themselves the hell out of here. The Secret could pick up more. And it looks like they may do this. Could be huge for them. With a cooldown, the Spirit Lance onto Scandal. They'll get the DK as well. So Secret, even though they take a fair bit of damage to their tier 3, they do manage to take two kills back in return.
for the secret with the wraparound that want to punish this push here. They have got the Ravage available, Universe. Get himself into position. He will jump in. He's just gonna blow the Ravage onto Scanlet. They can remove the DK from the fun. They'll have a good chance of turning this Burp Ravage. Jumping in. The will the Zelix on the swamp from Pilot. No, will be there for the epicenter from Arteline. Like ripping through them. They've lost Pi. They've lost two. They're gonna lose Envy as well. Yeah, by the looks of it, is Empire taking three kills. Scanlet is still alive in this one with the Armored Tumbling. Turns around. The forest strike onto Arteezy. Triple kill for Ramses. And Secret getting absolutely destroyed there off the back of what was a movement and an initiation that they were looking for themselves. Jumping in, blowing that Solar Ravage, but Empire, they were there to instantly react to that play. Universe did not think it was going to be a Solar Ravage. I think he expected at least two heroes to be behind him, especially with no blink on the Life Stealer, no blink on the Disruptor. You'd think that the supports would be much closer to the DK, but Empire worked just out of Ravage range but close enough to immediately follow up. That was a sick epicenter yeah, by Afterlife. Jumping in here. Just have probably to back him up if he gets in too much trouble. Obviously see some um, highlight die come in, but he's still getting him back. Ramses, he goes in. He says, I want to kill you, puppy. Oh, man, he's just got a rage in TP, just taunting. The Dazzle, the rest of Empire, Scandal. King R uh, should be fine, and he will. They'll get themselves out. So again, the serious damage being done here to the base of Secret. Just not an answer. I smoked up. Empire are going to look for Roche. See what kind of a jump secret can get Maposhka. He's going to wander around, but Puppy. Maposhka is indeed there. Jumping straight away with the Ravage. It will tickle Ramses onto the sidelines, and Envy's popped his BKB. Secret maybe seeing if they can chase down for more. It's only been Maposhka so far to feel the wrath of this smoke. Empire, still with four very strong heroes on the sidelines, and Epicenter and everything else. And Maposhka, he's going to just straight up buy back into the game, just wanting to leave no chance of Secret. How do you turn this one around? Have you just got to kind of wait for Empire to try and go for the high ground and catch them off there, you know, with a good swap, repositioning one of Empire's cores? I mean, how can you just even begin to, to comprehend tackling Empire when they have this, this just great positioning each and every time, which is making it pretty much impossible for Universe to hit the ravages that he needs? You kill Sinking. If you can, I think if you trade like Titaner for Sinking, the PL oh. can go crazy in the fights. And a free Curry here for Ramses. How he takes the Curry, he'll take a tier three as well. Easy couple of objectives here for the man, and now Universe will jump in, but Ramsey's raging away, jumping at him, forcing back the Titan to getting a bit of damage done onto the racks. Now Scandal coming in as well with the Dragon Tail. Universe has got to be careful, trying to get himself back, but the glimpses there, the swap from Pi, and the Shadow Grove from Puppy will keep him alive on the sidelines. Bonus strike onto Envy and Maposka, starting to shove away the troops to the trade. Envy gets the BKB out, tries to escape, now turning onto Ramsey, but Ramsey tries to go in aggressively. They will be able to pop the Aegis here, Secret. Can they kill the Life Stealer a second time? Certainly go for it. Moving straight in onto the man. Ramsey's falling low. The clouds be there, but there we have Epicenter coming in! Afterlife just trashing the side. Envy's down. RTZ will be shadow great He gets glimpsed back in, trying to get away with the double game, but the free fire from Scandal. Two dead on the side of Secret. And Empire, no mercy. Moving in for more eyes onto Puppy. He'll go down as well. There's gonna be four dead on Secret. No buybacks available. Ben, Secret getting entirely outplayed this game by Empire. Yeah, I thought Lysler had made a mistake by raging right before his Aegis popped. And GG uh, is called. Look at that. Empire absolutely over the moon with his best of one victory. And Ben Secret coming into this tournament. I think it's an understatement to say that people expected a lot more from them. But this, this just was, what, what went wrong, man? The same king was the ace of Empire Sleeve. It countered the PL, it countered all their team fight. Too much spread damage for Dazzle to deal with. Even the defensive swap, it was just a lot of AoE damage. On top of that, they had the Dragon Knight, very good versus all this minus armor, and Lifestealer who got sacked but ended up coming easily back into the game. A yeah, really smart draw from Empire. Excellent execution as well. I really feel, yeah, Afterlife sank. I mean, I can't remember. You know, I've kind of lost count of the amount of epicenters he was hit each and every time doing huge amounts of damage and Secret, they just struggled with the way the Empire played. We saw Secret coming in with a plan, trying to go aggressive on the bottom lane. It didn't work out. Ben, day 